The Florian Gurev Guild there, our first of the Asia Pacific cars, of course, International Rally Queens, as well as APRC, as well as our East Coast Bull Bars Championship. Day one, first of our Endurance Series, so it's about making sure the points count for Saturday and Sunday. After a dramatic, wet and slippery, and very close STP and Armour All Power Stays, the Evans Brothers separated by 0.2 of a second. Very spectacular in slippery conditions. It's dried out through here. A couple of five kilometre or thereabout stages here. We'll chat to them at the end of SS2 where we're standing now before they do another 30 k's in our first service. It is very much about endurance this weekend. We had a really great stage one. I think we were third fastest in the APRC, so that's really pleasing. Bit of a moment right at the finish line where we nearly rolled it, so cut over a crest and a bit of a wake up call. Got away with it, so just pulled it back a little bit for this one and um, you can see on the times we're a little bit slower. Obviously the S2000s are really fast, but we'll see. Four-wheel drive power stage winner, mate. How's the opening couple of stages gone, though? Uh, terrible, mate. The thing, we just can't control the back of the car, so it's quite scary to drive, so I'm not sure what has happened between the power stage and here, but uh, we've got to do something because you just can't keep it on the road. Yeah, the first one doesn't suit the way I got the car set up, and I'd forgotten all about that stage until we got out there. It was a bit tentative through it, and this one I sort of knew the, roughly the flow of this thing. Still a bit tentative, there's more in there, I'm sure. So You do like playing with setups on these cars, don't you? You've always been like that, and if you can get it right, it really does help you get on the money and be confident with your car, doesn't it? Yeah, it's not right yet, but it, but it's, I think it might come as, as the road comes to me in the afternoon. Long way to go yet, just trying to settle in, but the, uh, the time's clearly not there, but we've just got to sort of get into a routine, it's a long way to go yet. I'm you know, probably being a bit too easy on the car, and trying to make sure we get through, so I don't know. Car feels absolutely amazing. Got over a bit of nervous energy on the jump start on the power stage yesterday. Had a cracker of a sleep this morning and uh, woke up and said, let's go rallying in the sunshine. Yeah, good conditions considering the lead up and the sloppiness of the other stages. I mean, there's still some longer ones to go in the shade, but these ones have been pretty good off the cuff. Yeah, really good actually, yeah. I mean, the, uh, you're always better to recce in the wet than, uh, and then have a dry rally than the other way around. But um, yeah, look, Queensland's generically like that. Uh, rains sort of during the week and dries up after it, but um, yeah, we're just going to do our thing and get to the end. This is an endurance rally, got to change that mindset. Yeah. Too many blokes already got smashed bumpers and radiator coolant leaks already, so long way to go. Mate, I reckon the time loss on stage one, you've got back on this one, I reckon, so uh, it's, it's already happening. Yeah, no, it's uh, good. I'm really happy. You know, the car's mint, and we're, that stage one was pretty tricky, and we've gone out on 900s, okay. so... You know, the idea is to have good tyres for this long stage, and that's why we're very ready. Is that causing you any problems, any gear selection problems, or just at the end here? No, no not in the stage, but I think, you know, there's just a few really rough compressions, and it just, he's not very happy, he's not wanting to select gears, so in the stage it was fine. Hopefully, um, I don't know, we'll, uh, we've got a gear now, so we'll, uh, we'll keep going while we've got gears. Major amount of damage under there, mate. Was that one or two? Uh, stage one, probably 300 and 400 metres in. Um, yeah, just in a dip, kicked the car on its nose, and yeah, it's made a mess of the front. So uh, we went limp through that one. I'll see what the guys reckon when we get back to refuel, um, whether we try and limp it through the 30k or just take a penalty. So.